Hey guys, I recently did a video where we talked about some of the things that set good heating and air technicians apart from bad ones. And maybe bad's a little bit of a strong word, but just ones that do everything more thorough versus ones that don't. And one of the products we talked about in that video is a tool called MeasureQuick. Now MeasureQuick has sponsored a video or two with us, but I wanted to track down the owner of MeasureQuick, the founder, the guy that actually created the product, and give him an opportunity to talk directly to you guys and tell you exactly what it is, what the thought process is behind it. And I think if you take a moment to watch this video, you'll see how much power there is into this tool. I think it's a really cool product. And I think if you're a homeowner, it gives you the opportunity to again say, hey, is this someone doing everything correctly? Everything real thorough or someone that's not? You can actually say to the technician, are you using Measure Quick and can I get the report? So here's a clip from that interview that I did with Jim Bergman. Stay tuned. Just because yeah. it's so much nicer of a display. And then it turned into, well, we got the display. Well, you know, now we can do some calculations. And then calculations went to generating reports. And then reports went to, you know, diagnostics and validation. And it just kept snowballing. And so, you know, today MeasureQuick yeah. has about, we're, we're approaching 90,000 registered techs on MeasureQuick. We've just been, uh, you know, trying to change the industry, trying to improve things pr primarily. I mean, it's been like a very much a labor of love trying to make things better for the industry as a whole and um, trying to provide technicians with better tools because a lot of these smart probes and stuff there without a tool like measure quick, they're sort of a novelty. All they're doing is mm -hmm. taking what was on your, you know, on a cage, let's say a, a, a digital gauge set and they're moving it to your phone. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's cool, but it doesn't really have a good use case. And, mm -hmm. you know, our, our thing is, listen, your phone is a extremely powerful computer. Let's leverage the power of that computer and it's connected to the internet and it's got a phone and it's got a camera and it's got a barcode scanner and it's got GPS coordinates. Let's leverage all that technology that's in your pocket, put 35 years of my experience in there with backend diagnostics and actually make a tool that makes it easy, like for a company to, we call it standardize their measurement process, which is a huge problem. You, you've got to, if you're going to run a company, you know, what you think about like we have a CRM, that's a standard we, we use. Everybody uses a CRM. You know, we do billing a certain way. You got a process for that. And you always follow that process. But most HVAC techs don't have any process at all. And this is where we get like the good tech and the, and the bad tech. So the, the really good sharp tech, he's really not a magical unicorn or anything he just he just goes out there and he does the same process every time so what they do is they you know they they measure temperature split they measure static pressure they check superheat they you know they they look at the targets the target temp split and figure out what it is they do like all these little processes that make sure that when they leave there they know that unit's running right right and we got the other end of the technician that goes out pops the cover off sees the capacitor's bad flips the capacitor <clears throat> in, tells Mrs. Jones it's going to be you know, $300 and calls the dispatcher 15 minutes later and says, hey, I got this one fixed. I'm ready to roll. And they, they missed the charge problems. They missed the airflow problems. They missed the plug condensate line. They missed the, the dirty blower wheel. They missed the dirty evaporator. They missed the air bypass and the filter. And it's like, and it's because they don't have a process. And this is where mistakes are made, right? This, this is what separates what we call a hack from a skilled technician, but it's not the guy's a hack. It's just he doesn't follow a process so much. So right. like what we try to do with measure quick is like, think of it like going to your doctor. When, if you went into your doctor today, when you walked in the door, they're going to put you up on a scale, but they're going to weigh you. Then they're going to sit you down in a chair. They're going to measure your, your blood pressure. They're going to get your um, pulse. They're going to measure your respiratory rate. They're going to take your temperature. They're just going to do some <clears> like <throat> vitals every time you go in. And I don't care if you went into doctor today and you went in tomorrow, they're going to do the exact same thing tomorrow. Every time you go into a doctor's office, there's no skipping those steps. And so this is like measure quick. Where we're trying to do, okay, these nine probes and they're you know, suction line, suction pressure, liquid pressure, suction line temp, liquid line temp, outdoor air temp, uh, return air, wet bulb and dry bulb, supplier, wet bulb and dry bulb, return static, supply static. Those nine probes, you deploy those nine probes on every system every time. And we're going to find 40 to 60% more problems with systems. Uh, and they're the real problems that need solved that technicians are commonly overlooking.
and especially on the airflow side because they just don't have tools to accurately measure airflow. So this whole process with Measure Quick and the whole thing about standardization is it, and you got to listen closely as I say this because I think it's important to understand it. It takes the value away from the technician and puts it into the company. And what I mean by that is the company now owns this process. The same process gets done every time on every system. Whether it's the least experienced tech or the most experienced tech, they're going to make the same, they're going to deploy the same nine probes in the same locations. They're going to get the same answers. And so now the standard of care for the homeowner is even across the board. Whether it's the best tech or the, or the least experienced tech, they're going to get the same set of diagnostics. Now, the only thing that changes is how quickly the, the technician can you know, fix those problems. So a more skilled tech can, tech can maybe pull apart the condenser faster and wash it or, you know, clean the blower faster. But the thing is, both techs are going to know the condenser needs cleaned, the blower needs cleaned, you know, the filter needs changed. Everybody's going to be have the same sets of um, diagnostics, which means that the consumer now gets the same quality of service every single time. And that's the whole concept behind Measure Quick. It's like um, making sure that uh, everybody finds all the problems on all the systems. And what it does at the end of the day is it increases your revenue per ticket, decreases your callbacks, increases your customer satisfaction, um, increases your um, sales opportunities because it's it's not that Mrs. Jones is going to fix everything, but if you can't find it, you don't even have the opportunity to to present it. Right. And so it's, Mm -hmm. it's, it's curing a lot of the big problems in the industry. So that's it, guys. That's the overview of Measure Quick. If you want more information on the product, definitely click the link down below in our description. I think this can help make you a better heating and air technician. And if you're not a technician, if you're a homeowner that just caught this video, then this gives you an opportunity to, if you're a technician that you know and love, doesn't use Measure Quick, you have a place you can send them. Or if you're shopping around, you're getting quotes, again, you can actually say to the companies, do you use this tool? I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.